Hey guys, I'm super excited. Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's masterclass, Sales Funnels That Sell. Like to finally have an opportunity to learn how to make sure your sales funnel is doing what it's supposed to do, which is sell, right? Which is allow you to attract new clients, allow you to nurture clients, allow you to indoctrinate clients. And sometimes the question kind of comes up is, Shay, why is my sales funnel not doing what it's supposed to do? And you know, that's a very important question. And that's one of the questions we're going to answer today. We're going to answer step by step. How do you build out your sales funnel? And, and you know, th there's a lot that we could talk about. There's so much that we could talk about. But in, in this particular uh, session, I want to talk about how to write. Let me say that again. How to write. Let me say that one more time. How to write a profitable sales page in 24 hours. And here's the key. Here's, here's the key. It's without hiring copywriters or spending tens of thousands of dollars on consultants. And if that's you, as you're tuning in, you're like, Shay, if I can just crack the code and I can learn how to do this myself, or I know exactly what I'm asking, then I'm all in. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to stay to the very end. Now, don't worry. In just a minute, I'm going to get kicked off here and we're going to talk about how to do it i'm going to go over a couple sections i'm going to start with the most important one which i believe the most important one is headlines right how to write important headlines i'm going to share templates with you that i use i'm going to pull out some of the copy i've written with clients i'm going to make sure that you get step by step exactly how to do it not only yourself but how to guide someone else through the process and i want you to ask yourself the question if that question was asked shay how do i do it what would the answer be like seriously like what would the answer be if you're committed right now to adding more value to your clients if you're committed to making sure that your sales funnels do that then you look right below the video and put i commit i want you to commit to being here until the very very end not just because of me but because it's just that important and i had a, a change come up so i want to make sure that you guys can see everything here so let me see let me make sure here let me go back over here and then let me make sure that you can see that so do me a favor before we get kicked off i want to make sure you guys can hear me loud and clear so if you can just look right below the videos look right below the videos put shay we hear you just put shay we hear you and while you posting shay we hear you and that's a that's a bat signal that you can hear me as we're getting going because last time i was going and believe it or not peggy believe it or not peg to shane latuana believe it or not adrian believe it or not they couldn't hear me and so sonora i want to make sure that we're all committed to the very end and and someone said Shay, why are you doing this why is this important to you and i said well because we want to add value i'm checking the sound so thank you all for letting me know you can hear me checking the sound and making sure that we can be heard one two one three what's the big promise of this particular master class that you're finally going to build a sales funnel that actually works that's the big promise but over and beyond that over and beyond that i'm going to really walk through let me move this out the way i'm going to really walk through one area in particular because I, I i thought about it if i stayed here all night we'd be here all night and i'm going to walk through at least the sales pages because sales pages is the area that's been really people have been struggling with and they're not the sales pages aren't struggling so let me go ahead let me go ahead and share a couple of things first don't neglect your headline 90 percent of visitors who read your headline will also read the cta and if you want to know what a cta is what's up shawnee a cta by the way is your call to action that's what the cta is your cta is your call to action and a number of folks when they're building out their sales funnel, they neglect the sales page. And when they neglect the sales page, what they neglect is, is they neglect the headline. So they'll spend time making sure the slides look good. They'll spend time making sure that they got the right pictures and right images. But I'm gonna tell you one thing, if they don't read the headline, guess what? <laughs> they're not gonna read the page, okay? The headline to me is the key. If they don't read it, they won't go any further down the page. Uh oh, I got, see, I got my, my thing in the middle of it. Okay, so let's see here. We got a couple things going on. They're telling me, let me go back. Okay, this is going to be fun tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because they're doing some cool stuff. Um, and it's cool because we're trying to add more value to you guys. So we're doing stuff even outside of my comfort zone right now. Check in with yourself. 
and ask yourself, when you go look at your sales funnel and pick any one of the sales pages, does the headline really grab their attention? If it doesn't, we're going to talk about that. You're going to learn step by step how to do that this evening. 84% of landing pages have a navigation bar, which is truly really at the end of the day, that's a huge problem. And it's a huge problem that a number of folks don't want to admit, but it's a huge problem that they have to go back and change. And let me tell you why this is a huge problem. And let me tell you why that has to change. Because this seemed like a really good idea, right? But the point is to keep the visitors on your landing page until they convert, unless the graphic opens a form and leads to links that takes them off the page. So what typically happens, and I've seen this happen, I was doing an audit with a client just recently, and one of the biggest areas and challenges they had with their presentation was they had a sales page, and on there it had some stuff of the navigation bar. So when the person was there, they could click and go watch YouTube videos. They could click and go watch testimonials. And I was like, look, you're taking people away from the main area. So the funnel isn't working because they're not getting into your funnel in order for you to, what, nurture them. Don't worry, this is just the beginning. I'm gonna break this thing down. I'm gonna get into a whole lot of detail in a moment. But I want you first to hear me because this is some easy stuff here that I see that's holding people back. you must have a video relevant embedded video can increase conversions by 86 percent so you think about it just putting on videos on your landing pages adds a couple things number one it gives instant credibility that's kind of cool number two it builds trust and rapport and number three it keeps them relevant now why is it keeping relevant shay why is that so important why is that has to happen? Because you only have, let me say this again, you only have eight seconds, eight seconds to make an impression. Now, they're getting to your page. You figure eight seconds. Now, that eight seconds doesn't mean they're going to read the whole page, but we've got to grab their attention. And when you have a video on there, the conversion rate goes up, not because they're going to buy from you, not because they're going to register for one of your events, not because they're going to download your free gift, not because they're going to opt in. It's because you've grabbed their attention at a time when you want them to have your attention the most. And this is very, very, very important. Look, if you don't hear me, anything else I say, uh -oh, anything else I say on here today, I, I want you to hear this. And this is very, very important. Go back. Oops. Very, very important. Your sales copy, hear me, your sales copy is the most important element of your landing page. Now, I know they're going to tell you that the, the, the videos are important, and I know they're going to tell you that this is important, but the most important part on your landing page is the copy. And we're going to talk about that. I'm going to teach you step by step how to do that. That's the promise of this conference that we're going to have or this master class we're having today. 48% of landing pages contain multiple offers. Er, wrong problem. Er, wrong problem. Er, wrong problem. Er, wrong problem. Er, stop, stop, stop. Look, don't, I'm about to get started. I'm just, just having some fun right now. But as you're going through and you're listening to it, I, I want you to think 48% of landing pages contain multiple offers. We've got to change that. we got to change that. Shay, why do we have to change that? And why is that even important? Here's why it's important. Have one specific offer. One specific offer for each of your landing pages to keep your prospect focused on one thing at a time. Now, I, I can't overemphasize this. I can't overstress this. And if some of what I'm telling you right now regarding the headline, regarding the video, regarding the copy on your page, and you heard me say this a number of times, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to say this, that the number one skill that we all need the number one skill that we all need as entrepreneurs in this digital marketing space, as these infopreneurs, is we've got to get better at our copy. Copy is what you say, is when you say it, is how you say it, it's the words that you're using as you're going through it. And this right here, this right here is more important than ever. Now, I want you to know that it's not your fault. You may have never been in a conversation like you are right now. You may have never focused on this. 
It's not your fault. You didn't know what I'm about to tell you. I'm going to show you some of the best examples. If you stay and you follow me, we're going to cover the sales page. Yes, because that's the beginning of your funnel. We're going to cover each of the sections from the headline to the offer, to how to tell your story, to how to agitate the pain. And then I'm gonna show you on the other side, I'm gonna show you exactly some of the blueprints and roadmaps and best practices, not only that I've used, but others have used in the industry. So if you didn't know why or how to do this, it's not your fault. Now, I'm not expecting you to be a copywriter when we finish this, no, I'm not. What I'm expecting, what's up, Baron J? Hey, what's up, Bu? Hey, I see y'all this, Sonor. What's up, Kelvin? What's up, Peg DeShane? What's up, Melvin? What's up, all of you out there who are watching right now? Thanks for joining. You're in the house. But you didn't know what you didn't know. And it just wasn't your fault. And as you're listening to me right now, and you're, you're tuned in right now, you're like, Shay, I'm, I'm tuned in, Shay. I'm, I'm there. You and I, we're in this together. I, I'm feeling you. I'm, I'm smelling, Shay, what you're cooking in the kitchen over there. I'm all in. Pay attention. Let me tell you what our goal is today. Make a commitment that you're going to stay to the end. I've got some cool stuff. Yes. Make a commitment that you're going to fix your sales funnel by fixing your sales page. Yes. Make a commitment that you're going to know exactly what you didn't know before you come on here so you can add more value to the people you serve. You can make a bigger difference to the people you serve and you can have more impact. I want you to make that commitment right now while you and I are in this conversation. So let's go ahead and fast forward this. Let's go ahead and move this forward so that we can help you when you need us the most. Our goal during this time, our goal here today is really to get proven sales page structural blueprints. I'm going to lay it out for you that reveal how your sales page should be structured. And maybe you didn't know that you had no idea how the page is supposed to be structured, but I'm going to go into detail on how each section should be written so that it can convert and sell. Well, I said convert and sell. Well, hear me, hear me. This, this is so important because most folks sales pages are not selling and that's a big problem. It's a big problem. I, un I understand you want no more winging it without a proven sales plan. You're, you're past that. You're past showing up thinking, oh, maybe I can do it. I'll just put up a page. I'll see what happens. I'll pay for Facebook ads. And if I, if I pay for Facebook ads, then it'll work out. Let me tell you, paying for Facebook ads for most of you hasn't worked. Boosting it on your business page hasn't worked. Getting them to the page, yes. Maybe you got the traffic there but the page hasn't converted. So the sales funnel doesn't work because the sales page didn't work. Now, some of you, you need other things, but most of you, you just need a sales page that sells. That's all you need. And if you do that, life will be so much easier. So I, I, I took some liberties and I started thinking, like, what do you want? Like, like seriously, like, what would I want, okay? Um, talking to someone, I said, I get it. I understand at the end of the day, you want what pro copywriters do that you don't. And I'm going to give you that secret. That's my promise to you, Kevin. That's my promise to you, Michael. That's my promise to you, Kimberly Manning. That's my promise to you, J.S. Singh. That's my promise to you, Edith. That's my promise to you, Calvin. And we're going to make that happen today. Not tomorrow, but today. And I understand you want a better way to learn how to write profitable. Someone write down profitable. Someone put down Profitable. Look right below the video. Look right below the video, Terry, Nancy, and put down profitable sales pages. I didn't say go design something that looks cool. I didn't say go design something that looks sexy. I didn't say go design something that everybody says, ooh, wee, look at that page. No, 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 no. I said a better way to learn how to write profitable, profitable sales page. Now I know for some of you, I'll just take a minute. For some of you, it's the very first time I'm meeting you. Okay. For some of you, I get it. Uh, some of you, you're regulars. Welcome all my regulars. What's up? Today is your January 1st. <laughs> Today is your January 1st. And for all the new folks who are like, I don't even know what's going on. I got this email. I got this text. I signed up for this thing. Someone, someone sent me this thing on Facebook ads. I'm here. I don't know who this guy is talking. Let me take a moment for those folks that are hearing my voice for the very first time and tell you a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Shay Brown, by the way. They call me the happy 
entrepreneur. And one of the things about me outside of me being a, a father, outside of me being a brother, outside of me being a son, outside of me being an entrepreneur, outside of me being a man of faith, outside of me being someone that's just out here trying to do some good in the world, one of the things that we do is we believe that the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. And it wasn't always this way. I mean, it, I wish I could say it was always this way, but it wasn't always this way. I remember when I, when I got started and I was on this journey of being an entrepreneur and I thought it was going to be easy. Ran out of, got laid off. Um, and then after I got laid off, my, uh, my wife left me. And I don't know if many of you have been married and some of you at least have been in a relationship. Maybe you can relate to that. Or maybe you lost the love of your life before and it's a very challenging time. So here I am now laid off. Uh, I'm now home. My wife, my then wife decides to leave. Um, I decide that I'm going to go do this thing as an entrepreneur. My sons decide they're going to move in with me. Um, I've run out of money. My, um, my car gets repossessed. I'm upstairs working. I hear these footsteps, dad, 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 guess what? What? Someone's still in the car. So I run downstairs as I, as I run downstairs, it's very seriously, I'm looking out the, the door and I see that yes, my car is being taken up and they're repossessing the car. And I turned to my sons, Nancy, I turned to my sons, Kelvin, I turned to my sons, Vanessa, and I said, don't worry, the car is just going to the garage. I lied. And at that moment, I had the never again moment. Never again would I lie to my sons. Never again would I um, have to worry about one client paying my bill. Never again would I find myself in bankruptcy. Never again would I, I find myself in a place where I try to cut on the lights and the, the lights don't come on. I try to hit the cable. You see that button that says, call Verizon? And I had a never again moment. And it's in that moment that I learned these three words. Someone write these three words down. For those that are meeting me for the first time, I want you to notice, I want you to hear where my heart is coming from, and here it is. Selling is power. Selling is power. Selling is what? Power. And in that moment, I learned if selling is power, and if I can serve other people with the power, I can add value with the other power, and that people will pay me for that experience, that it created a breakthrough for me. And so I learned the one skill that really stops most entrepreneurs from moving forward in their life. The, the one skill, which is the reason why most companies go out of business, the one skill that stops entrepreneurs from growing, which is sales. And if selling equals service and selling is the power, the question is, what is selling the power to do? And for me on this entrepreneur journey, selling was the power to send my kids to a school of their choice. Selling was the power to pay my mortgage. Selling was the power to pay health care insurance for family members. Selling was the power to make a difference for someone else. Go ahead, someone do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and write down selling is power. And what is selling the power to do for you right now? You build these sales pages. You build the sales funnel to sales. You offer more value in the market. And what are you going to do with the money? You, I don't know, you make an extra $10,000 a month. Maybe that's not exciting for some of you. An extra $20,000 a month, over and beyond whatever you're earning right now. And the money's going into your bank account month after month after month because you now have sales pages that work when you're not there. $20,000 a month coming in every month. How is your life different? Write it down. What are you gonna do with the money? See, selling is the power for many of you, Dwight, to make that difference for where you are right now. And I'm happy to be just a part of this journey. So my story might not be your story. Maybe you didn't go through all that, but that's okay. That's okay. That was part of my journey along this journey of life. And for me, you might be wondering, you know, how did I end up creating sales funnels that sell playbooks, Shay? How did that, how did that all come about? How did that even happen? And for me, it was a couple things. One, it was analyzing a ton of million dollar sales pages. So I spent some time working with other folks and this is all they did every day, all day. And it was years of experience testing on the ground. Many of you have opted in on my pages over the years. Some of you have been right there with me. Coaching one-on-one -on -one private clients and helping them with their copy. Many of you know I'm trained in neuro linguistic sales, which is the study of language patterns and how it impacts the sales process. 
really taking time. And yeah, there's a formal business school training. It doesn't matter that I have a, a master's degree. It doesn't matter all the certifications that I have. But I will tell you what, I've learned also from the school of hard knocks and that's going out there and, and trying again and trying again and trying again. And probably from helping over 50,000 students, I mean, through the power of these fiber optic lines, the number is probably 10 times that number, but that's a very conservative number. And my database has double that number in it already. But still, in all seriousness, it's working with folks. And here's what I want to tell you. The structure works. Just follow it or at the very least, use it as a starting point. I want you to make a commitment today that you're going to up your game. I want you to make a commitment today that you're going to fix your sales page. I'm going to make a commitment today that you are going to have a sales funnel that not only provides a service, not only adds value, but sales, and it's going to start with the sales page. We're not gonna to try to create the whole thing tonight because it, we'd be here all day. But let's focus on the sales page where your book is located, where your webinar is located, where your master class is located. Let's just start there. Yeah, yeah, you can do this. You see, my experience at failing, my experience at working with clients one-on-one. -on -one. My experience of launching products after putting ten dollars and $15,000 into the product and it not selling. Um, my experience going out there and buying one program after another program after another program. My experience are lessons that you can walk away from. Isn't that so cool? That, that you can take the lessons because of my experiences. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. I'm going to give you the, the blueprint. I'm going to give you the template. I'm going to show you the roadmap. Like I'm going to show the word docs. We're going to work through that. But for those folks that are just meeting me for the very first time, I don't want you to think that the person that's sitting here today is the person that was there yesterday. And I want you to imagine where you were yesterday in the experience that you've had just trying to get that uh, sales funnel to work and trying to uh, Depend on the copywriter to write your page and uh, trying to tell the marketing folks how to get that marketing page going. Uh, I don't have any hair to pull out, <laughs> but some of you have your hair to pull out. Just uh, why won't this thing work? Well, don't worry about that. Someone do me a favor because I'm going to share my lesson. Hit the share button. Hit the heart button right now. And as you hit the share button, go ahead and write these words. Add value. That's all I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to add value. I'm going to share my lessons and I'm going to give it to you. But this is my gift. I got to get going. I'm a little long winded on my story, but I wanted you guys to make sure because somebody is so new and you have no idea who I am. But I want to make sure you know that because I had my aha moment and, you know, my aha moment is not going to woo you. It's not going to make you go, woo-wee. But you think about all the moments you've had as a business owner, all the moments you had as an entrepreneur, all the moments you've had in life. What has been your aha moment, that, that, that breakthrough moment that you was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for me, that aha moment was just this one phrase. And someone do me a favor, hit the share button and, and write this phrase down and, and it's going to make a difference for you. And then we're going to break down the sales page. I can't wait to do some audits on some of you guys' sales pages. I can't wait to get to the very end to give away all my blueprints, all my templates that I'm going to show you. It's my gift to you. We're doing something really cool. Make a commitment to see the end. Make a commitment right now to see the end. But go ahead and hit the share button. I got to get going. Hit the share button. When you hit the share button, write these words when you hit the share button. Please, just write these words when you hit the share button. People will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today that's my big aha moment selling equals service let me give you the sentence hit the share button hit the share button please pay this message forward to another entrepreneur help someone else out there that's stuck with the sales funnel thing they've got the click funnels and the infusion soft and the entreport and the active campaign they got this gizmo and that gadget and yet the stuff still ain't working so hit the share button because you're not alone. I, I've taken all the trainings. I know. Here's what I want you to put down. People will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. You're in the problem solving business. This is this is this is the big aha for me. 
that we've got to serve. We've got to serve. We've got to add value to the world. We've got to add value to the people we were called to serve. We've got to add value to those people that need it the most. And we go through here, my promise is we're going to add what? Yeah, yeah, we're going to add value. Now, I'm going to break it down right now. Let me go ahead and show you. But do me a favor. Look, look below the video and just write these words for me. Selling equals service. Put that down. Selling equals service. Selling equals service. Selling equals service. Selling equals what? Service. That's right. Selling equals service. You got this thing. Okay. So now I want to show you. I mean, I want to break it down now. I want to show you what you've been waiting for. The moment that you've been waiting for, which is really how a profitable sales page should be structured, right? How it should be structured. And more importantly, more importantly, what should you include? And in what order? Because this is kind of like baking a cake, right? It's kind of like baking a cake. So you're like, okay, I need to know the order, Shake. If I don't know the order, what good does it do me if I don't know the order? And boy, you are so right about that. First, I'm going to give you the overarching structure because maybe you don't know the structure. Maybe that's something that's, that's kind of been kind of kind of been holding you back. And, and there's really a three part formula that all the gurus have agreed on. I mean, we would all agree on that is that it really comes with three main areas. So you, you might want to jot these three areas down in your notes and then we're going to break down all the sections. I think I got about 10 sections to go through quickly, but it comes down to emotion. It comes down to logic and it comes down to fear, but not as you know fear. So let me say it. Let me give you the framework. So I'm, I'm, I'm pulling back the big black curtain right now. I'm opening up my treasure chest of secrets. I'm going to bring it all out to you right now. It's coming. Here it comes. Emotion, logic, and fear. This is the framework from which we will focus on throughout this particular conversation. I'm going to go section by section in just a moment, but I want to give you the groundwork because a sales page start, you start a sales page by appealing to them emotionally before moving on to sell logically, and then you alleviate their fears and show how the purchase is virtually risk-free. I told you it's going to be emotion, I told you it's going to be logic, and I told you it's going to be fears. I did tell you that, right? I did tell you that. You might want to take a picture of that. You might, you might want to take a picture of that. Most people are emotional buyers. Maybe, if we're fortunate, maybe about 60% are browsers. So they start on your sales page by, you've got to start the sales page by appealing to them emotionally because they were just browsing through. They may, might, might have saw your Facebook ad. Maybe some of you saw, they saw a link. Um, some of you some of you just got them to get there because you sent out an email or you sent out a text like, like we do pretty, pretty consistently. Or maybe 40% who are logical buyers, they need to see how the purchase will work logically. So you got 60% of the emotional about average, but there's about 40% who are logical buyers. They need to see how the purchase will work logically. So we got to appeal to these buyers next. And this is very, very important. And most folks, I'm seeing this left out. I mean, I'm just, I'm breaking it down as simple as I can. I'm seeing this part left out. And then there's the last one we talked about is that we all have fear. We all have fear and you need to successfully alleviate their fears and decrease as much of the risk as possible for them. And so if you ever work with us, we always like to address any fears they may have. Like you might be afraid to do sales pages. You might not believe they even work. And we got to reverse as much as the risk as possible so that it becomes a no brainer offer for people to buy. Uh -uh. Well, that's not going to work. I did something there. I don't know what I did. Let me go see what I did. Do, 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 do. This is Shay Brown trying to get it right. Okay, there we go. There we go. I think, I, I think I'm back on the right on track. Let me see. Let me make sure I got this right. I think I took the PowerPoint down. Um, don't be worried. I'll be back. If you don't see me, I think you can see me. Okay, good. There we go. Um, and so fear, fear is an important part 
of what we're doing. Now, here's why I'm getting back to the, the headline. This is why this is why I wanted to make sure that you were aware of it. I want to make sure that you didn't, I didn't lose you anywhere, that you were hanging in emotion, logic, and fear. Now, now when emotional headlines, problem, agitation, and desires. So I'm going to get into three sections as we walk through this in just a moment. I'm going to get into emotional headline. I'm going to get into problem agitation and then i'm gonna break that thing down and talk about you got to stir their desires okay but when you get to the logic part which i think i'm going to show in just a second when you do 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 this is really interesting okay there we go logic i'm using a new device so this is we're trying to do some cool stuff by the way <laughs> we try to do that it's always interesting i'm trying to show me and the slides but logic we're going to offer an induction we're going to differentiate our offer. What do they get? And we're going to get into the bonus. Now, I haven't gotten to it yet. I'm just kind of breaking down a little bit so you understand a little bit about what's happening. The parts that we're going to get into as we move towards section one, which is going to be headlines in just a second. When we talk about fear, we'll be talking about reassuring call out. So let me let me, let me, let me let me make sure you guys are following me. We're going to have emotional headlines. In that headline, in that section, we're going to do problem agitation. We're going to do desires. Then we're going to move into logic. So you see emotion, logic, fear. I mean, I hope you're following this. It might be a little confusing for some of you. Um, logic, we offer introduction. Don't worry about that. I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to show you examples in a moment. And then fear, reassuring call outs, the about me section. These are going to be sections. The money back guarantee, the testimonials, the frequently asked questions, and you can't see the last one which is the close that we do, et cetera. Now I'm gonna talk about section one right now. I'm gonna jump right into section one because in section one, we get into one of my favorite areas. Now, of course, they're all my favorite areas. I wouldn't do it. But first, let, let me give you a recap just so you, you're clear, you know where we are. We're all on the same page. And then we're gonna get right into the sections. I wanted to get you warmed up. Step one, appeal to people's emotions. Drop that down in your nose. Put that in your nose. Put that right below. Step two, once we have that covered, then we will win them over with logic. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Don't go nowhere. And then step three, then we will address any fears they have and reverse as much of the risk as possible so that it becomes a no-brainer. Now, I'm walking through this because I'm going to get into headlines in a moment and I'm, I'm walking through this because I want to make sure that when you're talking to them and you're dealing with your copywriter, you're dealing with your, I don't know, your marketing team, uh, you're dealing with your coach, you're dealing with your consultant, or maybe you have me on the team, you have CEO desk. Um, we're not a coach and we're more of a service agency, so we're providing the service that you need. And we're like Scotty Pippen for a lot of you. Most of you out there, you're like Michael Jordan right now. You're Michael Jordan and you're just looking for Scotty Pippen. And Shea Brown shows up and here comes Scotty Pippen. I'm underpaid. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because I don't want to get sued. Scotty Pippen, I'm sure you make you make good money. Um, but I'm underpaid, but I'm on the team. And I'm a Hall of Fame player. You're like, got it. There's Shea, he's in the game. A coach is on the sideline trying to tell you what to do, and you need those folks. We need coaches but I'm in the game. So now that I'm in the game with you, I'm telling you to play. So we both know to play and together we can run the to play together. Holla at your boy if you're feeling me. Holla if you need a Hall of Fame player on your team. If that's you, you look right below the video right now. Look right below the video and just write Hall of Fame player. Ha ha, because you're a Hall of Fame player. And one of the things I know about being successful in business, one of the things that I've learned in my 15 years of being in business is that when I have a good team, we get some great results. If I have a lousy team, it's hard to get great results. It's hard to get to the Hall of Fame. So um, think of me as a team player. So I'm on your team right now. So I'm about to, to lay, the, lay, the, lay the foundation out for you. But all the folks out there want a Hall of Fame player, you're looking for your Scotty Bit Pippen. <laughs> you're robbing to your Batman. Then let's 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 move full steam ahead. Okay, I'm about to go rapid fire, man. I'm gonna have to have a part two on this. I didn't know this was gonna be. I was gonna get that get that wild up. All right, let's start with section one. And then, do you guys have the section one stuff that you can bring them? up? You do. Good, good. Uh, winning headlines. You got that? 
You do? You have it? Is it ready to go? Oh, good. Okay, well, I don't need it now. Yeah, I want to show it to him later. Okay. All right. All right, guys, we're, we're, we're kind of got a lot going on here. Let me see. Where are, where, where did the people go? Where did the people go? Are the people out there? Do, do, do. The people should be out there. Oh, there they go. Okay. All right. Now, okay, we're going to show you some cool stuff in a minute. Okay. So, section one, the winning headline. On average, five times as many people read the headline than the body copy. When you have written your headline, you have spent 80 cents out of your dollar. Now, David, you can go, go Google David later. David's one of the greatest sales writers or copywriters of all time. So I'm going down into section one. I'm going into the headline, the most important part of what you're putting together. And as we do that, I want to make a point that the headline helps to hook people away from all the things happening in their life to get their attention. Think about your sales page right now. Think about your landing page right now. Think about your webinar page right now. Think about the email copy you send out right now. The number one goal of your headline is not to sell them. I had this conversation with someone just last week. The number one goal of your headline is to get your reader to be intrigued enough to continue reading to the first paragraph, right? Because if we don't get them to the first paragraph, then we are in trouble. It's, it's like it just blows my mind how much energy and attention we'll put into everything else but the headline. That's what I'm starting right now. And I'm going to slow down. I'm going to give you a headline template. Like I'm, I'm going to help all of you right now. But let me give you some examples of some headlines and then... I'll get into the psychology of it. I don't know if I'm getting into it tonight or in this particular episode, but I promise I'll break it down tonight. Uh oh, tonight my goal is really just to make sure that you have all of the things you need in order for you to be successful. So the headline. Let me give you a couple examples, and you might want to take a, a screenshot of this, and then we're gonna we're gonna walk through it. I I got a, a handout for you, but the headline really at the end of the day, there's a couple examples. The how-to headline, the tell me what it, it isn't headline, the showcase your success headline, now, the, the call-out headline. Now, you might be thinking, Shay, that's a whole lot of stuff going on. Yeah, but, but these headlines are very, very important. I just told you 80% of people read those. Now, for some of you who are tuning in right now, and you're thinking, okay, Shay, I'm, I'm all in, and... Uh, this is the wrong one. Do, 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 do. This is the wrong one. Let me close this down. This is not the one we want now. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Now, the headline, this is, I'll make sure you guys all get this. I'll do that in just a moment. So I'll send this to you. Because some of you, when I do an audit of your, of your sales pages, I'm asking, what type of headline are we doing? Is it the how to headline? How to blank without blank? Is it the tell me what it is headline? Um, this opens a curiosity gap and people have to read on to figure out what exactly it is you're talking about. So the reaction triggers the, tell me, what is this really going on? Um, one of my favorite is to showcase your success headline. And a claim sounds a lot more convincing when you back it up with a time frame. In this example, I use the how I rather than how you can. And, and, and this is a lot of reasons for that, but I might put the story behind how I was able to learn how to do sales funnels in less than one year. So I'm, I'm given a specific time frame. I'm given numbers, which I'll get into later. I can't get into that right now. Um, some of you, you need to call out headline. And the call out is to target your customer right from the get go. So I might say four infopreneurs who want to have a sales funnel that sells without paying all of the money. I think I get into without phrases later, but the without phrases. So without, even though those are um, clauses and phrases and, and embedded stuff, but I can't get that right now. But four infopreneurs. So if you're an infopreneur right now and you want a sales funnel that sells, you want pages that really work, then let's start with the headline. Now, the self-diagnosis headline, I might have to have a part two, this is going on. Um, it has been significantly proven, and I want you to hear me, I told you earlier that this is for me studying literally thousands and thousands of other sales professionals. This, 
this did not come from me just winging it and being out there. No, this comes from literally working with thousands of sales professionals. It has been scientifically proven that one of the most powerful English words you can use is you. Are you experiencing trouble getting conversions on your sales page? Are you ever feeling tired of taking phone calls from people who read your sales copy, watched your video, and yet want to talk to you? Do you make these common mistakes, not focusing on your headline, not drawing in emotion, or do you have the wrong type of headline at the top? These are just examples. Five types of bloggers, which type are you? Are you ever tongue-tied at a party? How to write a good advertisement. Now, I gave some credit to different folks because they some of these are folks, I got these titles from folks, like I learned. Do you make these mistakes in English? Do you make these mistakes with your sales funnels? I think I used that one recently for an ad and did really, really well. Now, I want to make sure that you, you get the, um, I don't want to miss out on F-O-M-O, FOMO. So, um, you know, that's for folks that don't want to miss out on something, by the way. It's the fear of missing out. If you want to know what FOMO means, F-O-M-O, it's the fear of missing out. So when we're building your sales page and we're looking, even for those folks of you right now who have um, um, opt-in pages, I was talking to someone and um, it, can, I, can I bring it to me real quick? Yeah, okay. I, I, was, I had a, a conversation with a client recently and their landing page is not converting. So they're spending about $750, which is not a million dollars a month on ads. People are getting to the opt-in page. Maybe this is you, maybe this is you. And when they get into the opt-in page, they're not opting in for the gift. Although they clicked on the link for the ad. And the numbers were down. I don't want to get into the details because some of you right now, maybe that's one of your challenges. And so when I did an a, a audit, this is how it started, an audit, and then she hired us to work with her, and that's a really blessing. I'm not going to mention the person's name right now. That's not important. What I discovered was we weren't really kind of making the gifts kind of not a secret, but it, 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 the, the, the headline was like a how-to I and this in there. And I saw it was too many moving parts. It's like trying to bake a strawberry pie and you've got strawberries and blueberries and bananas and peaches in there. And it was just, it tastes okay, but it's like, I just want a strawberry pie. And so what we did is, what I'm gonna show you, what we did is, um, do, do, do. Well, that's not it. Let me see, do, 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 do. Does this bring us back? Okay, so what we did is, we moved to the secret. And many of you know about the fear of missing out. Remember when you were a kid and people were whispering and you hated it because you felt like they were keeping a secret from you? And what I've learned is I wasn't really alone. Like these are insider secrets. So when we moved it around to the seven most kept, well kept secrets to having a public relations campaign, we've seen it all. And, and, and so we added the word secret in there. We also got an email that said the secret behind press releases, they get noticed. And, 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 and what we learned here, now we're, we're just talking about headlines. Now remember, I'll do a quick re recap. We're just talking about headlines. I, I'm gonna send you, some of you just want this right here. You just want what I'm going through because you wanna do an audit for your headline, I'm gonna do that. Her, hear me, her, hear me, her opt-ins went up by 300%. Now, you know, that wasn't a sales page, it was an opt-in. Now, here's why I tell you that, and here's why it's important to you. I'm just right now just going over some, well, some examples of headlines. That's all I'm doing. And I start off by giving you too much because I was gonna just make this a presentation, but I want it to be a training that you can learn. So I just wanna do a quick recap because we're in section one. I'm gonna go into another section. The winning headline. On average, five times as many people read the headline than the body copy. 
when you have written your headline, you spend 80 cents of a dollar. So when you run an ad and you spend $1,000, $800 is the impact of the header. Important. The number one goal of your headline is to get your reader to be intrigued enough to continue reading on to the first paragraph. Now, I'm, <coughs> it's not, you're not getting blown away by this. So we've got to make sure that in doing this, that we know exactly the type of headlines that we're going to write. There are probably 50 different headlines. I tried to pick the top 10 or 11. I couldn't. It was hard to narrow it down. I want to make sure I get that to you. Some of you, you want this. Um, we're going to get into um, section two, which is really problem agitation. So once you have their attention, you focus on what people care about, their problems. <laughs> we'll get to that right now. And their desires. <laughs> but for some of you listening right now, you're like, Shay, I, I really just want to get the, um, I just want to get the, 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 the headline gag, the headline blueprint. It's my gift to you. It's the template. Um, we build systems at CEO Desk. We build strategy at CEO Desk, and we act as your dream sales team at CEO Desk. So if you're out there right now and you want to get the notes, um, you're out there right now and you want to have a sales page audit, there's no cost, there's no charge, and you're out there right now and you're like, I need to have some type of conversation. Then go ahead and text the word right now, sales pages. Text the word sales pages. Text the word sales pages. And that goes to my personal number. My number is 202-270-1662. Again, 202-270-1662. I'm going to email you the Word document that you just saw. I'm going to email that to you. And then I'm also, also going to make sure I do a sales page audit for you. Now, we're getting ready to section two, but some of you, you want help like right now. So here's what I want you to do. You text my personal cell number, which is 202-270-1662. You text the word sales pages. Do it now. When? Now. When? Now. And then after you text, include your first name, and I'll make sure I get you the uh, 25 headlines, I've got so many more gifts to give you. Um, you have a revenue session and an audit. No cost, no charge, no catch. You must include your first name. You must include your last name. You must include your best contact number. Do it now. Do it when? Now. Do it when? Now. Do it when? Now. When's the best time to do it? Well, the best time to do it is when? right now my promise to you is that the meeting will be a good use of your time and my promise is you'll walk away with at least one good idea that you can use immediately in your business that's going to help you as you move forward and we'll also get you the winning headlines i'll make sure you get that that'll be that'll be my my gift to every single one of you one of the things that we're pleased about here is that we build systems we build strategy and we act as your sales team. And don't forget to include your first name, by the way. Don't forget to include your last name. Include your best contact number. And then um, and write the word sales pages. Sales pages. Okay. Now, also, do me a favor. As we go to section two. No, don't go nowhere. We got to go to section two. As we go to section two, do me a favor. Hit the share button. Like, hit that share button right now. And when you hit that share button, just write two words. Add value. Just write add value. And if right now, if you're getting some value and you're pumped up, you're like, Shay, section one was amazing. Shay, I got some value out of section one. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and just put, this is cool. Or just put good stuff. Or just put good use of my time. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Let's just have a little feedback. Let's have a little feedback. For those folks that are out there that are watching and you're watching live right now, Look below the video, look below the video. And if you got a sales page, post it right below. If you offer a free gift, post it right below. If you're listening to the replay of this, you can participate as well. Look right below the video. But you got to put shade of some good stuff first. Because <laughs> I got to get some feedback. It's you and I. We're hanging out. I love these master classes. I couldn't think of a better place to be than right now, right here with you, with you, you and I right now. Yeah, this is about sales funnels that sell. That's the masterclass. But 
I'm starting with sales pages because for many of you, if you get a higher conversion just on your sales page, Dwight, I see you out there. What's up, Meanie? Hey, what's going on, Isel? I see all of you out there that are hanging out. Um, the magic happens by itself, and that's why we do these. I show up for one reason, one reason only, and that is to give value. Okay, so let's go over now. We're going over to this is the desires template, which I don't need right now. Do, 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 do. They keep giving me the desire. Okay, let me just. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. As soon as I get this thing going. All right, there we go. All right, now, oh, I gotta bring this up. Do, 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 do. You got a lot of moving parts, you guys. You got a lot of moving parts. Okay, here we go. But this is cool. This is what we wanna do. We wanna expand our comfort zone. All right, section two. This is, this is when, this is Nancy when we get down, Mimi. This is when it happens. What's going on? I see you out there. Dr. Talisha's always in the house. She's amazing. Y'all got to connect with her. All right. Section two. I don't know if I'm making past all these sections. Twist with the knife. Now, you got to agitate the problem. Once you have their attention, now, once you have their attention, we fought hard to get their attention. It costs us 80 cents or the dollar. Then we've got to focus on what people care about, their problems. This section and their desires is the next section. This is very important. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it, but very, very important. Uh -uh. So important, I'm not moving. There we go. Your prospect will be asking themselves this one question. And for many of you, this, this shouldn't even be a surprise to you. You see the question up here, you should be like, <laughs> da ra, da ra, da ra. What's in it for me? Now, Will this make my life better? So what's in it for me? And will this really at the end of the day, if I read any further, Shay, if I stick around, I'm watching this. If my sales pages can sell, if my landing pages can get people to opt in, if my master classes get people to register, if my live events get people to show up, if they buy my online academy, Shay, if they if they schedule a one-on-one -on -one session, will my life be better as a result of, of, of the one place where funnels get stopped and that's the sales page? Uh, then my promise to you is absolutely 100%. It has to happen. So let's 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 just let's just let's just show it to them. Let's just break this thing down and not fast, but let's just give them the good stuff. All right, so you think about it, I, I want you the importance of really agitating a problem. And I want you to imagine waking up in the morning, and unless you have a serious chronic backache or have a very dire problem, you don't wake up thinking about most of the problems you have in your life. You don't wake up this morning thinking about, I've got a problem with sales. I've got to do something with sales today. That's not how you woke up. And your clients, they don't wake up that way either. This is why problem agitation is so important, although it's left out. You need to remind people about their problems that they have, sort of like twisting a knife, if I can say that, without being too, too harsh over there. It's kind of like twisting a knife and, and remind them that, you know what? You, you've got a pain there. If you go to the dentist, one thing the dentist does is he wants to see the tooth, he tap. Ah! You're like, oh, I got a problem with my tooth. It wasn't doing, it was okay until you hit the nerve. Or me, I, I wear glasses, by the way, and I wear contacts. And so I go to the doctor and says, can you see that? Can you see it? No. Everything okay? Yeah. Put my glasses on. Can you see it now, Shay? Perfectly. Oh, my gosh, it's amazing. One, two. One, two. It may have been to the eye doctor. One, two. It's like. That's not even no comparison. It's like not even fair. So we got to think about that when we do our sales pages. That's kind of how it's kind of how we we have to do our sales pages. We've got to get to the real problem because that's what they want us there for. That's what they want us to do. And there's a couple different ways to do that. And I want you to think on your sales page: Do you get to the real problem? And if you do, congratulations. If you don't, we've got to make sure we do that immediately there are five levels of the why technique after you've written a problem statement don't stop there ask yourself why is this a problem 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 so for example 
when I was thinking about sales funnels that don't work, I start thinking, why is this a problem? And I said, well, their sales page doesn't work. Well, why is that a problem? Because when I built my sales page, I just turned over to my marketing team and said, I need a sales page. And they said, can you tell me what I should say on the sales page? I'll be right back. Hello, copywriting team? Yes. I need copy. You know how much it's going to cost? Too much. Okay, copy. Give this to the, to the marketing team. Marketing team, give that to the graphics team. Graphics team, put that together. Let me look at it. Looks great. Sounds okay. Let's test it out. $3,000, $5,000 later. Why is that a problem? Because they never knew what the sections were to go back and see what needed to change on the page if it didn't work. Well, why is that a problem? Because no one ever told them. Why is that a problem? Because I searched the internet and I couldn't find anything that teaches you on step-by-step -step how to do it. Why is that a problem? Because you had to pay to go to a copyright boot camp to learn it. I said, but if they can fix that problem, their sales funnel will sell because the page typically will do most of the work. Made sense. So you think about what you're offering out there. Why is it a problem? Why is it a problem? Why is it a problem? Someone do me a favor, look, look right below the video and write these words, get to the real problem. Put that, put that, put that right below the video. Just write down right below the video. Go ahead, right below the video and write down, get to the real problem. And when you get to the real problem and you're stirring their desires and you're stirring where they are and you're stirring what they're saying, then there's a couple of things that we can do to kind of help that out. And yeah, there's, there is a template you can do for that. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show that to you in just a second. Oh, you already see it. Oh, great. Jeez, I didn't know that. Okay, can you make it bigger for them? Okay, hold on. How do you make it bigger? Well, let's not make it bigger. Let's make it a page bigger. Okay. Perfect. Oh, boy, this is really great. I love these systems when they work. Okay, so we've, we've got the problem agitation template. Uh, this is the roadmap. I'm going to get this to you. Um, and imagine that it's 7 a.m. and you've just woken up. What's running through your mind? Chances are high that you didn't wake up this morning thinking about all the problems you currently have in your life. Most of us have hundreds of problems, but we don't think about them until we are reminded of them. Hence, it's important to agitate your prospects' problems. And this is so true. So I get into a couple of things. I get into telling your personal story and my experience with sales pages to get to the end result. Let me tell you a personal story how I went from not understanding sales pages to now understanding sales pages. It took me a couple of years. I ran out of money. I was frustrated working with multiple teams. I had tried. See, so that's one way we could do it. You could describe the moment of highest tension, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. I'm going to show you this. This is something I got from a guy by the name of Rye Swartz. Now, this concept is where do you get to the point of the prospect when you're speaking with them and you say, this is the point that like they just hate. They just suck. This one, the highest moment is like where the magic kind of happens. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I had no idea that that was going to take place. And there's a couple of things that we can do. Let's show them what we can do. There's a couple of things that we can do to, to make it a little easier for everybody that's out there watching now. And let me, let, me, let me give you a couple of things we can do. And then I'm going to go back to the template because I'm, don't worry, I'm, for those that text in, I'm going to get you that template as well. But let's just get to the real problem. So one of the things that we can do is we can use the two magic phrases now there's a lot of magic phrases this is a secret <laughs> y'all know about that inst interest creating remark by now right <laughs> this is an insider secret i love saying that this means that and so that this is very important this is an important phrase after any problem statements on your sales page follow up with one of these magic phrases and then keep on writing let me give you an example um, that I believe is going to help you. For instance, instead of just saying, I will teach you how to lose weight, you could say, I will teach you how to lose weight 
This means that you will be able to fit into those tight jeans so that your husband can finally notice you again. I will teach you sales funnels that sell. This means that you are now empowered to make changes on your sales page to get better results so that you can serve more people. Holla at your boy if you're listening. When you're out there right now, someone do me a favor. Look right below the video and just put the two magic phrases. Just put the two magic phrases. Now, I, I want to go there because I'm getting to a section here describing the highest tension moment. And I want to make sure as I'm bringing that up that you understand that there's some phrases that can go before that that's going to help you set up the problem. Now, we're only on section two, right? We're only on section two. I'm just getting going, but I'm sensing right now that for some of you, if you just agitate the problem. Now, I was showing this in the template. I'm coming back and showing it to you another way because it's just that important. You got to describe the moment of the highest tension. There are many angles and ways you can describe your prospect's pains, but there will be a moment, a scene that you can paint in your own sales page that would hit your prospect's heart the hardest. Again, this is something that I learned from Roy, Roy Swartz. It's helped, it's paved the way for me. It's gonna pave the way for you. What is the moment of the highest tension? Now pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Don't, don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere now. The moment of the highest tension that your prospects will face that will drive them to seek out your solutions. I want you to imagine one moment that will allow you to describe the moment more vividly and hit their emotional buttons. Now there goes that emotional button again. There goes that emotional button again. There goes that emotional button again. There goes that emotional button. Now I broke it down early. I was I was showing you. So some of you the text in earlier, you're gonna get you're gonna get some of these templates. Some of you want the templates. I get that, and you want to be able to be able to write these yourself. But let me give you some examples. Template three, did you know? These are, this is different. This is problem agitation. The I can relate. I think I said that earlier. I can relate. This wasn't your fault. And you're like, oh my gosh, Shay. Now I get it. I get it. Yeah, you, you should be getting this pretty doggone well right now, by the way. Oh, you weren't there? Were you there? Oh, you were there. Oh, I see. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool how it bounces back. I like that. Okay. Anyway. Uh, let me let me let me move on. Describe this moment on your sales page. I'm getting back to my teaching. This is very important. For example, the moment of highest tension that I talked about in the sales funnels that sell sales page would be the moment when your prospects opens up their computer screen. This might be you, and they start working on a new sales page. That moment is terrible because you don't know what to write about and end up wasting a ton of time and energy just staring at a blank screen saying, what should I write? What sounds good? What are people talking about? This means that you've just wasted so much time so that you could write a sales page that you never wrote. It's blank. You're like, Shay, I'm tired of that page being blank. I'm gonna do something about it. You can tell a story. Telling your own personal stories is another great way to agitate your prospect pains. Focus on the version of you before your life was transformed. And earlier when we got started, isn't that where we started? Isn't that where I started at? Didn't I kind of start telling you how I was struggling? And I was. It's a true story because I didn't understand how to build a sales phone to sell because I was building sales pages, but I didn't understand what went in the sales page. It's like an ox, it's like a circle. Give me marketing, give me tech, give me graphics, give me a copywriter, give me a coach, give me another coach, give me a program. And, and my page was helpless because it was there. That's no longer you. I'm empowering you as the CEO. I'm empowering you as the leader. I'm empowering you as the founder. I'm empowering you as the visionary of your company that that will no longer be the case. You will know exactly what goes on your sales page and you're going to be able to tell compelling stories. This is very, very important. 
Great strategy to describing the problems your prospects are going through in a non-salesy manner. Facts tell stories. Yeah. Story sell. Shay, you're just on section two, Shay. Are there more sections? Absolutely. I'm blocking it. Okay. Absolutely, there's, there's more sections. But I want you to kind of get it. I, I want you to follow the formula. I want you to know that I got to have a compelling headline, and I got to make sure that I'm agitating the problem indirectly through your personal story or describing the highest moment of tension. I was working with another client, and they're 100 percent focused right now like when i say 100 percent, 100 percent focus right now on a virtual event and one of the problems they're solving through that virtual event is allowing people to live their best life one of the things i shared the problem on their page was that they've got to talk about the life that they have now a little bit more instead of all the goodies they're going to get so you can use you can reach the highest moment of tension which is more time for themselves. And they said, Shay, I, I work with women. And uh, one of the things that they, they, they I'm saying, there's not all women now, so don't, please don't say this because guys struggle with it as well, is feeling guilty when they're taking time for themselves. And, and feeling guilty, meaning that they're taking time away from their kid or they're taking time away from their husband or taking time away from their community or taking time away from another obligation. So they're always taking this time away. And as a result of taking this, this time away, they feel guilty. But that was nowhere expressed on the sales page. And so we took that one idea. We told the story of how she felt guilty. And it wasn't that anyone made her feel that way. It was an internal thing. And by going through this training, they could transform their life that they shouldn't have to feel good. That they, that they deserve the life. They deserve to spend the time. If that's you out there, you're like, you know what? I deserve right now. And you know that this is your time. This is your moment. Look look right below the video. Look right below the video. And it's right. This is my moment. This is your time. You're going to have a sales funnel that freaking sells. You're going to have a sales page that talks and agitates the problem using a system. You know, I believe the systems be goals every single time. Someone write that down in your notes. Systems be goals every single time. So we want to help you really paint a picture. I've had other clients that like to use number three, where you throw rocks at a common enemy. Sometimes the enemy is time. Time is always trying to get on my side, so I, I, I don't have enough time, but if I can budget my time, if I can plan better, if, if I can prioritize better, if I can use software better, if I can do this, I will, we will make sure we have more minutes in the day. It's a common enemy. A common enemy sometimes is a mindset. is what we're telling ourselves. That's why some people say, I am or I believe. They, they're pushing themselves harder. You can do that. But I'm telling you one thing. If you're not agitating the problem, your title by itself doesn't do that. The purpose of the title is just to get them to read the next section. So now in the section, we got to agitate the problem. Uh, I, I know some of you are watching and you're like, yeah, I just want to, I want to make sure that I'm able to get some of this stuff. Uh, if then, here's why. Um, if you are tired of blank, here's why you need to do it, or perhaps you would need to do it. Um, throw rocks at a common enemy. We got examples here. I've kind of laid this out because for some of you, I wanted to make sure that when you show up for a master class, at least that I'm teaching, that you're like, you know what? This is some good stuff, Shay. Like, this is exactly what I need right now for where I'm at. And if you're out there, you just want to get your, your page reviewed. You're like, Shay, I just want to get my page reviewed. I missed it earlier. I'm just showing up. Well, I want to share with you that we build systems. We build strategy. We act as your dream sales team. If you're out there right now, you're telling yourself, this is what I need, Shay. I, I, I really need to be focused on this right now. Go ahead and text right now. Text the word sales pages. It's two words. But you can put it all together. <clears throat> text sales pages to my personal cell phone number. It does not go to my automatic system. This does not go to my assistant. It comes directly to me. So now you're putting Scotty Pippen, i.e. Shay Brown, you're Michael Jordan on your team. Not the coach, but to be in the game with you. 
and I want to be in the game with you. I want to help you run the play. I want to want to help you get the ball in the basket. I want to help you be successful. I want to help you win not one championship, not two championships, but you need a Hall of Fame player to continue to win again and again and again and again and again. That's what this is all about. So text the word sales pages to 202-270-1662 for your sales page audit. Or for some of you, you also want to get the headlines or you're watching and listening and say, I just say want a, a revenue session. I need to slow down and then I'm going to speed up. And that's cool. No cost, no charge, no catch. You got to take action. When you text the word um, sales pages to 202-270-1662, again, 202-270-1662, include your first name, include your last name. And if you haven't had a sales page audit like done in the last 30 days, then get one done. If you haven't had one done in the last 90 days, then you want to be texting right now. If, if you're watching and listening right now, you've never had one done. Ever, 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 never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever had one done. Then you want to text sales pages right now to 202-270-1662. Uh, include your first name. Include your last name. Include your best contact number. And um, remember that we do build systems. We build strategy and we act as your dream sales team. And I'm excited. I'm looking forward to connecting with some of you out there that this is your year. This is your time. You're ready to move on. And we're going to do some amazing things together. Your sales funnel will sell. I, I get it. You've got to have some parts to it. But for some of you, your sales page is online when you look at the revenue over the last 90 days. Your, your bank account right now doesn't reflect how good you are. And as I mentioned at the very beginning of this, it's not your fault because you didn't know what you didn't know. But now you at least know about headlines. You now have the second part about problem agitation. Let me let me give one more part and then maybe we'll, we'll bring it down the home stretch. Maybe some of you, I'll invite you to a private session. And we'll go through about 15 sections, but some of you, you get the first three. Life is good. You, you, you get the first three and you're going to do some amazing things. You, you get the headline and people open up your emails and the magic's going to happen for you. But you've got to have number three. Make a commitment right now that you're going to stick into number three. We're coming down the home stretch. You're going to, you're going to hear number three. Do me a favor. I'll do something special. Well, th I'll do something special. If you're committed, look right below the video and put I commit. When you put I commit, hey, what's going on, Deborah Gardner? Hey, what's going on, Arlene Spam? Hey, what's going on, Loretta? What's going on, Mario? So many of you out there. When you put I commit, that's the bat signal that you're ready. We're coming up on that part of the year where we're about at that part where this is where the rubber hits the pavement. So let me go and talk about desires if I can. Let me let me let me take a moment and just kind of talk about that because this piece has to be work. The headline has to work or they'll never read the rest of the page. Get it. The problem agitation, they got to understand the problem. I get that. But then you got to stir the desire. And I say that because I don't know if we put it, we put it in the slides, I don't think we did. I say that because when I was coming along, people always said, Shay, I got to find someone with a problem. Find someone with a problem, find someone with a problem, find someone with a problem. That's the old way of doing it. There's been this paradigm shift, and I'm part of this shift, by the way. I'm, I'm pushing this shift. I'm, I'm pushing it because we're changing the way people view sales, okay? Selling is service. Selling is service. We're changing that. But there's a paradigm shift because someone could need to lose weight and do nothing about it. Someone could need to spend less than they make and never do anything about it. But if they have an interest, a want, show them the slide. Oh, I can't show them the slide because I'm talking. Okay. An interest, want, or a desire, there we go, desire, then they will move hell to get a new pair of shoes if that's what they want. They will put on a mask. And, and, and go get something to eat if they want something from a fancy restaurant because they have a desire. They got food in the refrigerator. And so we've got to stir up 
the desire. You didn't wake up this morning saying, sales pages, what a wonderful topic. I can't wait. But you're here. And you're in the conversation. So I just want to acknowledge you for the champion that you are. I want to acknowledge you for the winner that you are. I want to acknowledge you for the for the person that's making a big difference in the world and having so much more impact. And for Deborah Gardner and, and Peg DeShane and, and Kat and so many of you out there, this is it. This is the moment you're waiting for. But don't worry. At the very end, I'm going to do something special. I can't wait. I got something so cooked up. I got to skip to it because I'll never get to it at this pace. I had to come back and do a recap. I got it. This is just, this is just overwhelming. It is. Okay. Let's go ahead and move forward. Let's, where's the slide? Let's move forward. Okay. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Oops. I'm seeing doubles. Why am I seeing doubles? I shouldn't see doubles. I should see one. Okay. People love buying stuff. They hate being sold to. The key to selling well is to sell things that people really want, right? That's the key. I mean, you got <laughs> at the end of the day, so let's not focus on selling people anything. Let's focus on being problem solvers. Let's focus on making a bigger difference in the world than what we are right now. So we got to make sure that we tell them from where they are currently to where they want to be. What do they really, really want? They don't want a sales page. They want clients who can afford their products and services. They don't really want a, a sales page. They want people who are interested in having the problem solved that they can help. You got to speak to your prospects, desires, and dreams, and then the sale is, well, it's almost done. It's almost done. So you got to focus on one key promise. Now, one of the challenges that I'm seeing is that sometimes people are trying to put too much on one page. They're trying to say too much at one time. Instead of making many different type of promises, Focus on one big promise and then show them a big deal. So you want your sales pages, your sales funnels that sell, then I'm gonna show you that. If you're out there right now and you wanna know how to be a speaker and get on stages, then I'm gonna show you that. If in this conversation you wanna be a, a, a speaker that sells virtually to corporations, then I'm gonna show you that. If if if, if you're ready to tell your story in a way that shows the passion and, and changes lives, then I'm going to show you that. See, see, don't try to do too much. Not on a landing page. I told you that when we first started, there's too much going on for too many people. It's like going to the grocery store. I go to the grocery store. I might walk up and down aisles trying to figure out what I want to eat. But if I want Thai food, I'm going to a Thai food specialist. You've heard this before. It's so important. The riches are in the niches. The riches are in the niches. The riches are in the what? Niches. Someone write down below the video. The riches are in the niches. Look, if the one big promise of your product comes true, how will their life be different? Show how fulfilling that one big promise will help your prospects meet multiple dreams and desires that they have which in turn will transform their lives in many different ways. Think about that for a moment. What's the one big promise? I had to go back and change some of my pages because I, I wasn't communicating the, the one big promise and how it will change their lives. You're in this digital space right now because you want to be able to make money when you're not there, right? I mean, truly. And so if you're an infopreneur or you're someone that's selling digital products and services and, and they're out there and you can't be there with them, then I know at 100% certainty that there are two things that you need. You need great copyright, number one. The words have got to come true. And then number two, you need a sales funnel because someone's going somewhere to make a buy-in decision and you're not there. So once that happens, 
and the money comes into your business, it allows you to execute the vision you have for the people you were called to serve because it takes resources, which means it takes revenue. With no revenue, there is no resources. With no people, you can't solve a problem. You can jot this in your notes, and I love to share this, that leads represent hope. Put that in your notes. I wasn't going to say that. Leads represent hope. No leads, no what? Yeah. No leads, no hope. And that could be a problem. Because if you don't have leads, you, you can't have hope. You gotta stir up the desire. So get into the specifics when you're when you're on your page. And we'll go, I'll give you some examples. You want to take them from where they currently are to where they want to be. What do they really, really want? How does this work? look i can't stress that enough how does it look on the other side for them how is their life different how are they able to do the things they really really want to do everybody knows how to do this but the best copywriters go into the specifics the riches are in the niches the riches are in the niches the riches are in the niches so, so use these four techniques. I'm gonna give you four techniques that, that I wanna share with you because these four techniques will help you. And I, I, I wanna pull up, do we have that? We have, we have desires? Okay, oh good, good, we, we have the template. Okay, so we have the template here as well. Um, I'm gonna talk about this at the end, I think. Uh, why, is it all, why is it overlapping? Oh, because you got some other stuff open. Makes sense. Okay. Um, so, you know, there, there are some pretty cool templates to stir it up. Um, I, I talk about people love buying, and uh, some of you are going to get my notes, some of you are going to get that. But the evidence-based desire stir, I like that. If I told you you could now blank get the end result, before you start saying it's impossible, hear me out. I'll secret, give them a one-liner explanation about why your product or service is different. I can help you feel amazing. What do they really want? I can help you sell without opening your mouth. I can help you sell by having a sales team. I can help you. See, there's so many different ones. The, the summary one, recommend it, especially with digital products. I mean, this is so obvious. But finally, the one key promise, finally, someone's gonna help me with the words I'm saying. Finally, someone's gonna make my sales calls for me. Finally. But let me ask you a question. If that happened to you, how would you feel if your sales page was converting? How would you feel if you no longer have to blank? If then, here's why. I love this, it's one of my favorite ones. If you are interested in a sales funnel to sales, if you like to make money online or if you want to have great copy, then please take a moment and read this because it could potentially change the trajectory of your life, just like it changed mine. I'm just kind of walking you through some examples so you can see that you don't have to do this alone. And you don't have to, I mean, this does not mean you're not personalizing it. I'm just trying to share with you years of pulling the best of the best of the best ideas together, something that we hadn't done in the past, but I want to make sure that I pulled it because I know for some of you, this is exactly what you're looking for. You're like, this is it. I mean, where has this been? Like, why did I not know this? We talked about the five levels of the Y technique earlier. We talked about the two magic phrases earlier. So this is one of the steps that you can do to get to where you want to get to, like now. When's the best time to get there? Well, now. So you can stir their desire by using examples. I'm not gonna go into all this because I have the template. I showed it to you. Um, but I want you to know that it's there. I want you to know that it's possible. I also want you to know about the close, section four, and then I'm done. The section four, I, we're done. I wasn't gonna show this one, I was gonna stop, but I'm on a roll. But section four, we're gonna close the gap. We have the reader's curiosity and interest. We have them, they're right there. And it's time to introduce your product or service. 
Jot this in your notes. This is one of my key phrases. Many of you have heard me say this for many, many, many years that have been with me. But a confused mind rarely buys. Put that in your notes. A confused mind rarely buys. It's a well-known saying, confused minds don't buy. I put rarely buy. It is important that you introduce your offer clearly and succinctly. This is, this is like... This is like money stuff. This is like money. This is like money. Like this is it. You're there. This is it. You're right there. This is it. Don't miss this right now. This is this is where the magic all happens right here. Add a nice image when you're going through it. So when you're going through the clothes, make sure they can see it. And then close the format. And when you do, this is very, very important. What is the transformation gap? So You've got to kind of show from where they were to where they're going, from where they were to where they're going. This is very, very important because when you don't show this and they don't know, it, 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 it puts them in a bad position. It puts them in a bad, bad, bad place. And they're unable to, to kind of break through. So what's the transformation gap from where they are to where they want to go through? Now, if you can do that, then you can make a huge, huge, huge difference. So let me, let me give you some examples, and then I'll, I'll break it down. I know some of you have sent in a text. I promise to have a part two. I know I got kind of carried away. I got so much I wanted to go at so time. But I want you to make sure that when you're closing that you know exactly what offers to make and you know how to make those offers. Let me, can they see that? They can't see it. They can't, they can't. Do, 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 do. So much stuff going on here. I got a lot of stuff. So now... You can use the one-liner promise. You can use the big promise plus a transformation. And when you do that, that makes it so much easier for them and for the folks that are watching. And, and that's what a difference maker is. That's where the difference happens for the folks that are out there right now that are listening. Now, if you're like, Shall, I don't even know how to do the offer. Don't worry. One of the things that I shared earlier, that I'll share it again, and I always share it whenever I can, almost every single time I can, that I love to say that you can send me a text. Let me give you my number to text into. And then once you text in, I will send it to you. Oops, wrong one. We will send it to you. There we go. Do, do, do. We will send you all of the details. You can text the word sales pages. Text the word sales pages to 202. 270-1662, again, 202-270-1662, and you'll get your sales page audit, you'll get the headlines, you'll get the revenue session, include your first name, your last name, your best contact number, and also your email. And then when you do that, my promises will have a one-on-one -on -one meeting. My promises will be right there for you. My promises will review it. And here's the good news. There's no cost to you. Worst case scenario is you, you have your meeting and you say, Shay, it wasn't a good use of my time. Best case scenario, you say, whoa, this is exactly what I was looking for. And you can do both. What's the number to get a text? 202-270-1662. Again, 202-270-1662. With that being said, I want you to know right now that you are amazing. I want you to know that you're incredible. There will be a part two. I mean, I wish I could just keep going on and on and on. There will be a part two. Because I know for some of you, this was just scratching the surface. But if you get the headline right, you can agitate the problem, you can stir their desires, you get the close, then the magic happens by itself. And then once the magic happens, then you have everything you need. Now, for those folks that are out there that are saying, Shay, this is good. I get it. You build systems. You build strategies. You act. I'm listening to you, Shay, and I'm thinking, I just want you to do it all for me, Shay. I don't even, even want to learn it. I just want to know what would it take to have your team walk through all 15 sections and not only write the page, but also put it up there, okay? So I just want to get the results that your clients have gotten over the years. Can you, just, can you just take a moment and walk me through what that would look like, what that would feel like? Be happy to do that. If you want to tune in here, I'll do something special for you. I'll let the cat out the bag, okay? It'll be under 100 bucks, okay? <laughs> it's going to be really incredible because let me, let's just walk them through that and then we'll get out of here. We build systems, we build strategies, and we act as your what? As your sales team, which I'm really excited to be on your sales team, to be your Scotty Pippen for where you are right now. What I want to do right now is just 
take a moment and kind of share how we work. In a new way of looking at things, sales funnels that do sell. First, there's a lot more to this that I can get into. There's so much more that I can get into, and I wish I had more time. If I had more time, I would get into so much more, but I want to make sure that you at least get what you need now. So I want to introduce all of you, take a few minutes and just introduce all of you to the, uh oh, hit the button, to the sales funnel, to the sales funnels that sell system. And for some of you, this is exactly what you've been looking for. Like you've been out there looking for it. Let me give you some of the goodies you get. Goodie number two is you're gonna get over 25 sales page templates that you can plug and play and craft your sales page. You're essentially getting your very own sales page copy bank. And if you never had a sales page copy bank, then I'm giving you mine. Number two, here's what you'll get inside the funnels that sell system. Goodie number three, you get your laser focus to the sales page training school where I teach you how to craft a profitable sales page that sell backed by hard data and personal experiments. So I'm gonna show you exactly what we've done for other folks and we're gonna do the exact same thing for you. You're also gonna get inside the sales funnels, the sales system, you're gonna get the laser focus to the sales page training school, which I just talked about where I teach you step by step how to do profitable, but not how to have to do it the hard way. Because sometimes at the end of the day, people are like, oh, I don't wanna do it the hard way. Now, this is unlike any other product sales funnels to sales system that you've ever seen, that's ever existed, because it never existed. Sales funnels to sales system is fun, it's easy breezy, and most importantly, it's proven and profitable. Someone write down proven and profitable, proven and profitable proven and profitable, which is, uh, I think that's a pretty, pretty, pretty important part. If I can find how to get to the other thing. Oop, that's not it. Do, 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 do. I tell you, me and my new, me and my new toys tonight. Okay. Uh, see, did I get that right? There we go. Okay. Oh, I see. They put it out of order. Okay. I got it. The proven sales page structure. I see. They put it out of, oh boy. Okay. I, I was going the wrong way. That's okay. No wonder it was so confusing. Okay. So you're gonna get the actual <laughs> sales page structural blueprint that's valued at $97. Um, this page is gonna get you off to where you gotta get to. I see now, I see what happens. They put the bonuses first. Okay, okay. So we're not perfect either. That's interesting. Okay, I went backwards. Oh well. Goodie number one, the proven sales page structural blueprint valued at $97. The right sales page structure in hand before you start crafting your sales page, which allows you to visualize your sales page with ease. You start you off with a crystal clear big picture. That's important, so we're gonna start off so you know exactly how to lay the page out. Goodie number two is we're gonna have over 25 fill in the blank templates. This is right, this is right, I was going backwards. Um, and this is important because now you don't have to follow the templates, but it gives you a guide. And there's nothing like trying to write and be creative and not have the guide in front of you. Nothing like that at all. That can be really confusing. And then you have the training course. So now I teach you going over this in much more detail, how to lay it out and how to unlock each step. So here I went step one, you gotta unlock that. Then step two, you gotta unlock that. Step three, you gotta unlock that. Some of you just want someone to do it. Others of you kind of just wanna have a framework. I was talking to someone today and she said, I just wanna understand what the team is doing. So I get it, I'm with you there. And then there's the sales funnels, the sales system. So it's really four main components. There's the proven sales page, structural blueprint, got it. There's the over 25 fill in the blank sales page templates, got it. There's the goodie number three, the sales course, valued at 297, got it. And then after that, there is the um, total value. So the total value of this, Again, I already told you guys to be under 100 bucks. It's about $691. That's the total value. If all I did was teach you how to craft many more profitable sales pages over and over again as your business grows, would a one-time payment of $691 be worth it? Probably so. 
If all I did was save you hours and hours of time as compared to writing everything from scratch by yourself, would a one-time payment of $699 be worth it? Probably so. If all I did was teach you how to write high converting sales pages sweat free at record time, would a one-time payment of $691 be worth it? Absolutely. Now I had two options when I put this together, right? I had two options. Uh, one option is I can go out there and I could charge a ton of money and say we can do it, or I could make it affordable for everyone. I had two options. I decided to make it affordable. First, I had to ask myself, was it worth it? Was it worth it for you? Was it worth it for everyone else? Because the sales funnel system is the proven sales structural blueprint. And it gives you everything you need. It's only $691, which is for most folks is a really good deal compared to what they were doing. But I thought about it. I said, we can do better. We will do better. And we will sweeten the pot. We've, we've, got, we've got time to sweeten the pot. We've got time to do some cool stuff. Now, I already told you it's under 100 bucks, but I, I wanted to do something that was like super irresistible, super incredible. So I had some fast action bonuses that I wanted to share. Bonus number one was the, the private persuasion tactics black book. It's valued at $497. It's my little secret book of gifts and goodies. Some of you have seen my emails. Some of you have seen what I put out. And I said, I'm going to release that. And then I had bonus number two, the serious sales pay mistake cheat sheet. Like, what are the mistakes that people are making and, and how can I track those so I don't do that? I want to give that away. And then I said, well, there's the surprise. The surprise is being on the team and having a team that can follow up and make the calls and work for you. Whoa. Yeah, some super bonuses. So, so here's what you get at the end of the day. You, you get the, the proven sales strategies. I got it. You get the proven book, got it. You got the fill in the blank roadmap, got it. You get the bonuses, got it. And, and all of that, it's about $2,282, but there's a special one-time offer. One-time offer, one-time payment. The one-time offer is $97. So you're gonna get all 15 sections, all of my templates for $97 and an opportunity to get the training so you can, well, it can, you can do it yourself. It can be done and you have someone to work along the process with you. I want you to imagine how many sales do you need to recoup $97? Maybe it's two, maybe it's one, maybe one sale pays for this for the next 10 years, just one sale. Go here now. If you're like, Shay, this is for me, we do have a 100% money back guarantee. Um, we're gonna let you test drive the program. If you don't feel the program will benefit you today or in the future, we'll just refund your money 100%. Go to salesfunnelsthatsellsystem.com. Again, www.salesfunnels, with a S, thatsellsystem.com. Sales funnels that sell systems.com head on over to that page now it's a simple checkout page when you get there just fill it out there, there is an investment it's 97 dollars. there is a guarantee 100 percent confident if this don't work for you we give your money back if you're unhappy with your purchase for any reason we just contact me directly you get a full refund i'm a small business owner my, myself so every customer matters a lot to me. I don't want to take your money if you are not happy. All the risk is on me. So here's really why it's worth it at the end of the day. Here's why it's worth it. The reason it's, it's worth it is that it's $97. That's why it's worth it. It's probably cost you more and lost revenue day after day week after week, month after month, just because the sales funnel is not working because the sales page is not working. So, so really the way I, I boil it down is you, you really have two choices. I had two choices, you have two choices. Choice number one, you can continue doing what you're doing now. You're gonna be successful, you're gonna do well. You, you, you've got a big heart, you've got a great service, you've got a great company, you're gonna do well. You can make it happen, that's one choice. It's a hard way. Maybe it's not going the way you want it to, but it's a, it's a choice. There is an easier way. 
The easier way is to go over to www.salesfunnelsthatsellsystem.com. Salesfunnelsthatsellsystem.com. Let's go over to www.salesfunnelsystems.com. You can complete it, fill out all the information. Um, it is $97, so you got to have some skin in the game. But once you do that, then you own it and you have it for life. I have a, a few final comments um, for those folks that are out there and a few final comments, and then we're going to close out. And a few final comments I have is right now you're already a winner. Um, you're already a champion. You're already someone who has so much greatness inside of you. And it's there. And it's there for you. And it's there for other folks. And some of you, this does not make sense for you. It's just not for you, and that's fine. Maybe our time will come together later in the future. But for others of you, you're already over at www.salesfunnelsthatsellsystem.com. Salesfunnelsthatsellsystem.com. You're already there. And once you're there, I want to go ahead and invite you to go ahead and fill out the information online. We take Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and we'll see you on the other side. I am going to open this back up. And for those folks that text it in, you will get an audit. We will review your sales page, as we promise. Uh, we will share the best ideas with you. And, and I want you to know as you're listening right now that for you, today is your January 1st. Today is your January 1st. And for you, the best is still yet to come. The best is yet to come. The best yet to come. Do me a favor as we close out. Do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and put your big takeaway. Just write your big takeaway. Because your big takeaway could be someone else's big breakthrough. Let me say that again. Your big takeaway could be someone else's big breakthrough. So look right below the video and write, what I enjoy most about tonight is dot, dot, dot. What I enjoy most about today's session was dot, dot, dot. If you're not following us, Hit the, hit the like button, hit the share button, stay in the conversation, pay this message forward. And for everyone that I'll see on the other side, we'll have to have a part two. <laughs> I should have made this like a five part series to be honest with you because there's like many parts along the way. And um, now that I'm into it, I see it. It's the first time I've ever done this, but I, but I wanted to because as I'm talking to clients, their biggest problem right now is, well, their sales page isn't selling. It just isn't. And so I want to do something about it. I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to help every entrepreneur out there so they're never handicapped, they're never held hostage, and they at least know that they know in a way that makes sense to them and it makes sense to their target audience. If we do that, we'll have more meaning in the world. That means we'll make more money. We will certainly have more impact in the world. That means we'll make more income. And we will make a dollar and a difference at the same time. A dollar and a difference at the same time. So if that's you, go over to www.salesfunnelsthatsellsystem.com. Again, www.salesfunnelsthatsellsystem.com. With that being said, by the way, my name, for those folks who are just tuning in, my name is Shea Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you from the bottom of my heart, We'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. Remember, time is long. Life is short. Live in the moment and make it count. God bless. I wish every single one of you success, peace, and I will see you on the other side. Bye-bye for now. See you later. So much fun.